Hello everyone, I'm guessing you have clicked on this video because you want to learn the process of YouTube animations. And I'm going to tell you about it. So, to start making a video, we need to write a script. Personally, I write my scripts using Google Docs as I can look at it from anywhere. But you can pretty much use any program you want, even a piece of paper will do. In my opinion, creating the perfect script is extremely hard and takes me a while to do. Once my script is done, I usually send it to a few friends and family to make sure I haven't missed anything and it sounds good. Then we move on to the audio. The softwares I use are Adobe Audition and Audacity. I usually use Audition to make my audio sound clean and nice, then I add the effects in Audacity. I'm still trying to learn how to use Audition as I recently picked it up, but can 100% recommend it as it turns my audio from this bad audio to this good audio. If you are looking for a free audio software, then Audacity does the job perfectly. It has noise reduction and loads of effects and plugins you can use. For microphones, I used to use a Blue Snowball, which sounded good. A year ago, however, I upgraded to a Blue Yeti as it is a great standard USB microphone that most people use. The Blue Yeti is around £100, but it gets the job done. Hello, Rum. So, now to the animation segment of the video. Starting with, this is my Star Wars video. I would say this is... One of my favorite videos I've done, um, just because of like the backgrounds, the scene, everything. I mean, you can kind of see it zoomed out, but the way I make the character movements kind of smooth, if you look at it now, is simply because, like, see how he's moving? It's because of this. Okay, so this is his like top arm, then this is his forearm, and they move differently. You see, this is on a different layer to the forearm, and obviously the hand is on a different layer as well, and obviously I have different hands. Obviously with the mouths on certain characters, I also have all of this. All of these mouths, just save so I can change it whenever I want. That's how I do my lip sync. Uh, that all works. And the thing, the really good thing about the software I'm using, Toon Boom Harmony Premium, uh, there are other ones advanced and essential, and they are just as good, but if you want to do more advanced rigging and get unlocked access to the node view and the library down here, which has with the effects like blue, gradients, well I mean you can do gradients anyway, but like Gaussian blur, camera, and a lot of the things you need to rig a character, it's a lot easier to do. And it's quite expensive, I do say, I do say that. But I would say it's worth it. My rigs, these are the characters and how I rig them. As you can see, it's probably a whole bunch of mess that you will not understand. But you get the arms, legs, head and hoodie, like the torso area, and then you fall rig. And this is how, well basically these let the character move and attach to each other, and it also lets me do things like this. So the hair, it's just like here, but you can't see it when it goes past here, so then obviously I can move the hair around. And then I put a deformer on it, which basically allows me to stretch it up and down, so it comes like that, so then obviously I can pull the hair down. I don't know you get things like that, but then obviously I can just move up again. And all it has like that. And it's the same with that one. And with the eyes, and the eyebrows, the eye can go outside, so that's how I do that. Just kind of move it. Look where he's, wherever he wants. And I can also change here. I have a few more eye options in here on my main bricks now. Because again, I have changed it a bit. And the mouths, the nose, all on separate layers. As you can see, the hair, back hair, front hairs, and the eyebrows go down, removes this. It's really helpful to create different positions. Uh, let me show you an example. Let me character got that. Angry, surprised, happy, or just like normal position, I guess. Obviously, even the even the belt. Let me see all of these. So the way it works is that it looks like this. They all connect to each other. And I have this thing called an auto patch, which means that this, I mean, if you have a look at the actual layer, there's there's a black line here and the auto patch gets rid of that because it separates the line art layer and the color art layer. So if you look here on my drawing, on this drawing tab, you'll be able to see that this is the line art and this is the color art layer and it separates the two. And that is why you can get this motion because the line art gets removed and the color art states and it kind of attaches itself to this. So basically just replacing the color art and 
going over. Uh, yeah, it was kind of hard to explain, and you probably won't need to go this far to get a good animation still. But just to, uh, to let you know, that's how far you can go with the program. The software is incredibly good, and I highly recommend it if you can afford it. There is a student plan, so you can get it way cheaper. But yeah, that's pretty much Team Boom Harmony and how I animate, how everything works. One more thing is that you have master, master pegs, which are basically the master controllers, where you can just move them and it moves the whole thing. It's kind of similar with the arms as well. Except these are connected by kinematic outputs, I'm pretty sure, which basically you hold the thing together without deforming them and stuff. Uh, I'll probably leave some links in the video if you want to try out this program. I'm pretty sure this is a 30 day free trial and you can try every feature out. It's really good, I recommend it. And I thank you for watching the video. But yeah, that's how I animate, that's how I do things. Anyway, thank you guys for watching. And if you want more videos like this, let me know. And I will see you in the next one. Goodbye.